like to welcome you to labs. How many of you have been in labs before? It's funny when you actually describe the camps and the things, the activities that kids are going to be doing. Whoa. There we go. Because adults are like, that would be so cool. My family moved here in 2004. At that point, my older son had just turned three. As he got into elementary school, there were times when we needed to find care for the days that the school wasn't in session. We usually do a labs program, and it's summer, winter, and spring break. And maybe about four years ago, we decided, you know, there's other opportunities in which kids are not going to school besides those big breaks. We do provide a safe place for kids to be able to be while their parents need to work. We downloaded music and got on a new uh, thing called Picasa 3 and Premiere Elements and learned how to edit videos and edit pictures. We've been challenged to be able to provide a lot of technology. TechSmith has actually provided a grant that supports our educational programs and so has the DART Foundation. With both of those companies, we've been able to expand the research that we've been able to do with hands-on types of equipment that we can give kids. So that has opened up a whole new frontier of science exploration for Impression 5 in the labs program. The nice thing about it is he comes home at the end of the day. He's had physical activity because you can't not have physical activity for kids that age. But he does come back and he's usually picked up at least one or two things that he didn't know and it's getting to the point now where he's picked up one or two things that I didn't know or his mom didn't know. I think that's the really important part for a parent when they walk away is yes my child was somewhere I did take care of that child care component but also I gave them an opportunity to ask questions or learn something or do something new. It's something really cool to learn about science and have fun at the same time.